What's up guys, welcome to the vlog game, Matty here as always If you're here for the first time, make sure to smash that subscribe So you can be part of it, whatever I'm doing here, you are part of it First of all, I am so sorry that I have been posting for more than a week But I have a huge, huge thing coming to the channel that I need to keep you guys posted But I cannot announce today, today is a totally different topic as you saw on the thumbnail and, and title but be aware make sure to subscribe to the channel because huge huge change coming your way so you just have to wait all right also Corvette at Carlisle right happening at the last weekend of August in PA if you are not aware Corvette at Carlisle is the most popular Corvette show in US so I will be there with my friend Justin so I hope to see you there we're gonna be by the food court so I hope to see you there so stop by we can hang out talk I'll be there two days Corvette at Carlisle starts on Thursday and goes until Sunday I will be there Friday and Saturday so I hope to see you there all right couple of updates we're gonna we're gonna do something with the truck today too with the Corvette it's gonna be like a mix of things but as you saw I'm I'm pleased to announce that we have a product that I'm very excited to show you guys what it is so today it's all about the camel's gauge I actually I was looking for a gauge for my cars uh, and my truck and they reach me out and what I love about this one it's very easy to use and you can use it so many uh, options as you can see here this is the box this is pretty much how you get this you have the 52 millimeters option and the 60 millimeter options right I have two I have both here so I will show you guys the good thing about this is the installation is very simple you see this box when you get it you're gonna get two boxes you're gonna get this box here with the gauge itself and this one here which the hardware which is so easy to use because you only plug this bad boy here on your OBD sensor and that's pretty much it nothing else nothing fancy that's what you have to do I will open this one here for you guys right this one is the 52 millimeter right so once you open that's how it comes pretty nice pretty simple here's the gauge itself this is the 52 it's smaller I will show you the 60 that I just I put on the Corvette already plug on the harness the cane as well and also comes with a remote control and I'll explain to you guys why and you plug here the other side comes with tape you can tape it or you can take this out you know you can put on those supports for gauges. it's it's pretty much up to you see that's the only the gauge itself and here is like when how it comes you can tighten it up you can take the the tape out and just glue to your uh, dash you just take this one here you plug on our OBD this end goes to the the gauge and that's it and what I like about this gauge is since it's digital right you can custom made it you can change the the pointer you can change the color you can change what you want to see it uh, for example you can you can use booster you can use uh, water temp oil temp you can use whatever you want of course it has to be available here I'll show you in a while what I'm using so far uh, I like the look of it if you have a turbo car probably is gonna be easier for you to have one on this but I have two on the Corvette those are the two 16 millimeters I'll come back here in a while but I want to show you that this one works in the truck as well and that's where I'm gonna leave the 60 uh, the 52 millimeters for now as you guys know I serve in a church and the church is under construction and I went there this last Thursday and that's what happened so start of my life all right I will show you guys how easy is the install process so everything we need to do is plug this and on the OBD sensor and you guys know the OBD is down here just like this and then this end here goes to the gauge yeah out and in and that's because you can you can uh, put it like sequential let's say you got like three gauges of this and then you can put a, another three in less sequential and I'm saying series whatever you want to call so I'm gonna plug it in 
and that's it okay for now i'll leave here so we can take a better look at it right again you can leave it you know anywhere i will show you what i did on the corvette but i want to show you here on the truck so once you turn your car on right and there you go that bips and that comes out there you go what we have here is boost you see oh so if i give a little throttle look see so this is pretty much how you stall very simple of course you gotta do some cable management but that's very simple how to stall i will show you guys uh i haven't decided where i'm gonna put it probably somewhere here and i'm saying like because then fits really well there something like that or maybe i'll just buy a uh, you know a uh, gauge pod for and and deal with it let me show you what i did with the corvette so you guys gonna understand because i spent a time since it, you know it's a modified car and here in the truck i will keep that one uh i haven't decided where so but in the corvette i did because so you need that kind of thing um so i put it two there and i want to show you guys that's that's how i set up right so i ran it's plug it here on the obd and then I ran the cables through here. That's what I'm gonna do with the truck too. Um, and then, you know, I just glue here with that tape for now. Uh, I might get, you know, that pod in the A-pillar that you put the gauges on. We'll see, that's probably a good idea. But so far, that's how it's looking there. There you go, once you start the car, they bit. There you go. It's so bright. So I'll, I'll show you guys here. I'll put the GoPro there. But that's basically my view of it. What I was saying about the, the remote control here, if you change, see? You, you see you change the color for whatever you want. See? Uh, and you can change all these besides the color. I would, I'll like I'll leave like this because then you guys can see. If you guys go, if you go to setup, if I go to pointer, you can change the color of the pointer. Uh, if you go to the dash, you can do a double, single. This one I have double, right? So I'll hit OK. Uh, you see, I have double. One's RPM, and the other one is. Uh, let's change the bottom one right so i go here and i go parameters and then you change you you'll see which one you want to change i want to change the one on the bottom so if, instead of uh intake intake so let's do oil temperature because i don't have it there right so there we go now i have oil temperature on the bottom and i have rpms on the on the on the top like let's say i go to setup again and you can do here racing this is not in miles this is in kilometers this is zero to 60 it is crazy i will show you guys so let's take for a spin so you guys can see uh, how everything works there you go that's how it's looking like remember the other the one here on the left is showing me the zero to 60 and how fast we go you see we're gonna come to a full stop and this shows like okay ready go so you see say he's ready I'm just waiting for the bike to come by and then we go and once you hit it's 60 but it because it's kilometer says a hundred so once we hit a hundred then it stops and tell you how many seconds again i don't have a lot of room for to do this so it's not gonna be as fast as this car could be it's just for demonstration all right here we go there you go see it finish 4.5 seconds not bad <laughs> not bad 0 to 64.5 seconds uh, and that's pretty much what this thing can do I really like it that you know the fact you can change as you want this is pretty cool 
Um, again, I'm still, I'm still getting used to it. I have boost there. My car is not actually marking any boost, but I like to have the RPM there because it's more visible than uh, down here. Uh, and I also I have, I, I like to have something like uh, you know oil temps or something like that. You can do whatever. Like once you go to the settings. The possibilities are endless. I hope you guys like it. That's it. Like, I didn't even know my car could do four seconds. <laughs> but, uh, it, I mean, I think it could do better, though, because, to be honest, I was in a, like, it, it was kind of a residential kind of place, so I don't want to go super fast. You know what I'm saying? Safety first, always. And that I just want to show you guys a little bit what that thing is capable of. As I said, you can do customize as much as you can. Don't be attached to what I show you because you can do way more, right? It's just because do whatever works for you and that's the thing. And this is why I like this uh, Camel's racing gauges. It's because you can do whatever works for you. You don't need to be attached to one setting. See you know what I'm saying? You can change, you can do this better, you can customize your way, the way you like it or the way you you know you want to just try something different. So I'm ha very happy to have that on my truck and on my Corvette. And the best part is if you guys want to get one there's a link in the description below you can get 20% off of this baby here. Just use the code MADDY20 and you get 20% off. I don't know how long they're gonna keep this code with 20% off. Take advantage of it. Link in the description below. Man, this thing is so cool. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You can tell. That will do for today's upload. I hope you guys enjoy. As I said, please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. I have a huge announcement to make. I don't I don't know. I'm work on it. Uh, I don't even know when my next video is going to be up. But it, probably in the next video, I will announce it. Some people are going to be mad. Some people are going to be really happy. Stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next upload. Never forget. Enjoy your life and work hard for it.